Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Get comfortable, grab your coffee, put on a comfy sweatshirt because we are about to talk about all the books I read in June. And there's a lot. So pause this, get comfortable, and let's get into it. Are we comfortable now? Let's get started. So I read 12 books in June. That is a lot for me. I have all the physical copies here, but I did read some like partially on my phone on Kindle Unlimited, and I'll let you guys know which one it, which ones of these are also on Kindle Unlimited. Okay, I have a dog on my lap now because if she's not sitting here, this video will never get filmed because she will just be barking at me. So, she's gonna be here. I have my bookstagram pulled up because I have reviews for all of these books up on my bookstagram. So if you want like a detailed description, what I rated the book right after I read it, the spice level, I'll be talking about that in this video, but I have my favorite quotes from all the books on here too. So if you want like a more detailed review with some quotes from the book, then follow my bookstagram, the link is below. Okay, I read a lot of series this month, as you can see. I read the Dreamland Billionaire series, the Twisted series and the Summer I Turned Pretty series. I read all of them this month. I um, got into series this month and I don't think I'll ever stop because I, even if they're like the Dreamland Billionaire series and the Twisted series where they're not even like really related, like some of the characters are intertwined, but it's more of like a duology or like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, they're not really related, but they are. So I, even that, I really liked. So before, if I said I like standalone books better, I lied. I lied. I love series. They're so good. Okay. The first book and the first series I read was the Dreamland Billionaire series. The first book I read was The Fine Print. So with The Fine Print, you have contemporary romance, you get spice in this book and you have a grumpy sunshine trope if you are interested in that. The grumpy sunshine in this is not overly annoying. This is like my thing. With a grumpy sunshine, I feel like it could just be so, so cringe. That's the only way I can put it. I feel like with grumpy sunshine, it could be so cringe and the sunshine character is like so annoying okay i'm not i'm i'm the grumpy okay i'm the grumpy character so for me in real life to see a sunshine like so sunshiny i'm like dude you're annoying so the fact that zara in here is like not overly sunshiny she still has a background there's a reason why she's sunshiny like she has a story she has a background she has a way a reason why the way she is i really liked that about this book if you like a man being a romantic then this book is for you rowan is such a romantic and for the grumpy character to like do romantic things because he's falling in love is the cutest thing ever. So anyway, 4.5 to 5.5 stars. I loved this book. I would 100% recommend. I would rate the spice level probably like 4 out of 5, maybe 3 out of 5. So just if you don't like spice, be aware this is an adult novel. The second book that I read was Terms and Conditions. This is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. There should be a third one coming out with the third brother. And I'm really, 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 really excited for that. So this was, let's see, contemporary romance. We have a little grumpy sunshine, but it's not like overly, it's kind of just like there in the background. And then we have fake marriage as like the main trope. So we have Declan and Iris. Iris is Declan's assistant and Declan is a brother in the Dreamland Billionaire whole world. And they decide to fake marry for reasons that I'm not gonna tell you because it kind of just like gives away the whole thing. I would rate this four stars out of five. I liked the fine print better. I know that that's like 
I feel like that is an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people like terms and conditions more. I'm just not totally into the fake marriage, fake dating trope. It's like gonna take me a little bit. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get into it like other people just because you know what's gonna happen and it's like hard to like do it without it just being another okay they fake dated and then they actually fell in love like you know what i'm saying like it's just it kind of gets old but i did really like this book spice level i would say a little bit less spicy than the fine print i think maybe just because it was more of a slow burn but still spicy still an adult romance and um i'll rate this four out of five Overall, this series is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Um, they're beautiful. I can't wait for the third one. And I do want to read Laura Asher's, Lauren Asher's other series. I know she has another one. I think the first book is called Bottled or something like that. But um, yeah, so the Dreamland Billionaire series, that's the first thing I read this month. Next next we have the twisted series so for the twisted series i read these all back to back i read twisted love twisted games and then twisted hate the fourth book twisted lies actually comes out today and i'm on a book buying ban so i can't buy it because if you saw not my last video but the one before that where i did an unboxing i said i was going on a book buying haul and i am on a book buying haul and i'm trying to stick to it so um, the only way that I'm allowing myself to get the last book in this series is if I hit 200 subscribers. So subscribe to my channel because please let me get the last book in this series. This series is gold and this is so pretty and yes, I need, I need the one that matches this guys. Uh, first book is Twisted Love. So I'm just gonna read you like the little snippet at the top because it kind of gives like a hint into the tropes. So Twisted Love, it says he has a heart of ice, but for her, he'd burn the world. So this book is the first book. It is Grumpy Sunshine. Like it is Grumpy Sunshine. And like I said before, I'm not totally into the Grumpy Sunshine, but this was probably, the thing is everyone has a favorite Twisted book okay but i can't pick i just can't i can't i can't pick i go back and forth it honestly depends on the day it honestly depends on what i'm feeling what i feel like i need in my life what kind of fictional man i need in my life what kind of fictional woman i want to be um kind of depends on which book i like more at that time that day but twisted love is grumpy sunshine and he is grumpy he is grumpy girl he has a heart of ice it says it on the front and it is brother's best friend and it is opposites attract grumpy sunshine kind of is opposites attract but it is a little bit more than that where they're not just grumpy and sunshine and those are their opposites they have other stuff that are opposites too if that makes sense for all of the books in the Twisted series, you have alternating points of view. You're going between the male and the female main characters, which I love because I like to see how each of them feel and where each of them are in like developing their feelings. And I, I swear to God, if it's alternating points of view, you've already got me. Like I'm already gonna like the book. It's already gonna be four stars, most likely. Like I said, I'm just gonna rate this whole series a five out of five. I'm not gonna rate each individual book because it honestly depends on my day. Like I said, like what I feel about the book, but at, overall the series is a five out of five. Next book in the Twisted series is Twisted Games. And this is a bodyguard romance, forbidden romance. And this is about Princess Bridget and Rise Larson. And let me tell you, I thought this book was gonna be my least favorite. But the reason that sometimes I um, can't decide which one's my favorite is because Rise Larson is my book boyfriend. Um, he's one, he's all I think about. He is gold, just like the cover. So we have so many tropes in this book. We have grumpy sunshine. We have forbidden romance because 
she's a princess and he's a bodyguard. We have forced proximity because he's her bodyguard. And we have age gap, which I really didn't think I would be into, but it doesn't seem like they have a huge age gap in the book. It's not like gross, if that makes sense. Because I'm really not into age gap, but it didn't feel, it didn't feel weird. He just seemed even more protective. So Twisted Hate, it's the third book in the series. It is super chunky, but I read it just as fast as I read the other ones. We have Josh, who is Ava from the first book's brother and her best friend Jules, who are enemies to lovers. So we have best friend's brother, and then we also have enemies to lovers. And you definitely get the spice you definitely get the build up to the spice because of the enemies to lovers you have like the hate spiciness like behind it that gold that everyone's looking for like i said i'm not gonna rate these all separately i love all of the books so i'm just gonna say like overall this series is a five out of five and the thing that i really like about this series is that the characters don't exist for the sole purpose of falling in love they don't exist for the other character they have backgrounds they have like things that made them who they are and they're explained and they're part of the story and there's just depth to these books it's not just about falling in love and spice it's about the characters and their development and that's what i really love and that's why anna is my queen and I will love her forever so please get me to 200 subscribers so that I can buy Twisted Lies because I need the last book in this series and I don't know how I feel about rereading books but I will be revisiting this one day I will be rereading this one day okay the next book I read was November 9 by Colleen Hoover I read three Colleen Hoover books this month um I'm running out of Colleen Hoover books to read so there probably won't be many coming up but out of all the Colleen Hoover books I've read this is top three this is probably my third favorite Ugly Love number one it ends with us is my second favorite this book follows Fallon and Ben and they meet up every year on November 9th for I think five years yeah for five years um I thought I would hate this book like the fact that I didn't hate this book already made it like three out of five stars. So if you love Colleen Hoover, this has everything you want in a Colleen Hoover book. It's fast paced. It has the plot twist. It is so good. It has heartache, but like, you know, you just know what I'm talking about. Like it's a Colleen Hoover book. It's amazing. Um, I would rate this four and a half out of five stars. Okay. Next book. I read was Darling Venom by Parker S. Huntington. I honestly didn't want to pick this book up off my shelf because it's so thick, but I read it very quickly. This book is enemies to lovers, but has so much, so much more. It is not just your enemies to lovers. It has like so much heartache. Look up the trigger warnings before you read this book. I don't want to like talk about the trigger warnings in this video but um before you decide to like buy this book or read this book i would for sure look up the trigger warnings this book is on kindle unlimited terms and conditions the fine print are also on kindle unlimited um five stars five stars she's beautiful um if you want like if you need a palette cleanser if you cannot read another romantic comedy then this book is for you um i didn't really like get emotional reading this like i didn't cry reading this but um it definitely like p pulled at my heartstrings if you know what i'm saying so if you're looking for a real and a raw book then this is for you i love this book okay next book i read was layla by colleen hoover um I just don't have to say about this book. This is the hardest book to describe in the history of the world. Um, it is a Colleen Hoover book, so it is fast paced and it has um, 
like a mystery element to it in this book. I was talking to a friend on bookstagram and she didn't want to read this book because she saw somewhere that it's like scary but trust me this book is not scary like it has like a mystery element to it but I hate horror movies. I hate them. Um, Verity was not like scary for me but I don't need I don't need anything more than that like that's as far as I'm gonna go and trust me this book is more of a mystery sort of thriller but not scary at all um I don't even know how to explain this book I guess you could say it's like a second chance romance but I feel like you wouldn't really understand that until you're done with the book um ghosts there's there's a ghost <laughs> um that's why this book is so hard to describe because there's just like it doesn't make any sense it's just like the weirdest thing like what was going through Colleen Hoover's mind when she read like was she watching like I just I want I want to know like everybody asked Colleen Hoover what were you thinking when you wrote this book um not in a bad way because I would rate this book probably three out of five stars um I liked it but it just wasn't my favorite it's odd it's just odd okay i i don't know what to say um but that's it this is on kindle unlimited too i actually read it on kindle unlimited before the book even came in the mail um so there's that so the next book that i read was reminders of him by colleen hoover a lot of people say this is one of their top colleen hoover books i wouldn't say it's in my top three but it's up there for sure. It's about a woman that just got out of prison and she's trying to reconnect with her daughter, but there's all these obstacles in the way. That makes it sound like the worst book ever. Like it makes it sound like who, I don't know. It's not a romance. Like I don't want to read that, but that's why I like to go into a, blind, a book blind because reading that before made me really not interested in reading it but once I got into it I really liked it um, and if you love like a protective man then you'll like this book for sure four out of five and it is on Kindle Unlimited okay guys we're near the end we have our last books which is the summer I turned pretty series and these are super short super quick reads i don't know if it's because they're ya romance that i read them so quickly but they are super quick i read each of them probably in a day i know i read this one in a day i sat down and read it in like one sitting which i've never ever done with a book even november 9 when i was reading it for my 24 hour vlog i didn't read it as fast as this um this series is all the rage right now so i had to get my hands on it i already have this one but it was kind of like kept getting pushed back on my tbr but then once the tv show came out i was like girl i need to read it so i got this one i read it immediately ordered these two off amazon i read the first book then watched the tv series then read these two books which is honestly a good way to do it but I would recommend reading the first two before you watch the show because there's stuff in the second book that overlap with the show. I'm Team Conrad. So comment below if you're Team Conrad or Team Jeremiah. Um, all I have to say about these books is they're super quick reads, they're super good for summer, they're YA romance, and um, the TV adaptation is the best adaptation I think to exist. And I think that's why it's blowing up so much is because it gives you something that the books don't and usually it's the other way around. And for me, I loved the TV show and I cannot, cannot, cannot wait for more seasons. Overall, I would rate this series a 4 out of 5 on my YA romance scale. I wouldn't even put it on the same scale as like an adult romance like Dreamland Billionaire because it's just so so different you really can't but I would rate this four out of five my favorite 
was the last one and I know that's probably an unpopular opinion I feel like a lot of people like the first one but that was actually my least favorite um but read these books and watch a tv show because they are cold that's all the books that I read in June 12 books three series and some standalones a lot of Colleen Hoover picks um overall this book month was superior and I don't know if I'm ever gonna beat this month because I read amazing series and um this five star read is if you like this video please like comment below if you're team Jeremiah or team Conrad I need to know and subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more videos like this and I'll also be posting my July TBR soon so thanks for watching